So this morning I was building the X-Wing for one of our upcoming videos and one of our brand new Patreon members, James, reached out and asked me what my thoughts were for the BrickLink Designer Program finalists. I did five videos a couple months ago showcasing everything from modular buildings to pirate sets, medieval sets. We saw some really amazing creations. Basically, they're fan designed sets for adults. This is LEGO's brand new program. You can only pre-order these. There's like limited quantities. Uh, we'll go more into that later on. So thanks again to James. And if you want to join our community, link is in the description below. This is totally unscripted. So we're going to go through, look at some sets, see uh, what my thoughts are, see what sets were included in our previous videos. And we'll just kind of go from there. So let's take a look. All right, cool. So here's our five finalists. We'll take a look at the first one is it's Mountain Fortress and it's pretty towering. Looks like something straight out of Game of Thrones. I really like the architecture and this is surprising that this is going through because Lego makes a lot of castle sets and a lot of medieval sets. Usually I'll, I'll hear like with the Lego ideas line, there's a lot of complaints around not having castles and modular buildings uh, since they have specific rules against designing those types of sets since Lego creates them those sets themselves. But in this case with BrickLink, I, I love that there's a medieval set that's been chosen and this is going to get created by the way. You'll, you'll be able to pre-order this later uh, next year, I think in February of 2024. So the fact that we have a medieval set and it's a castle is really awesome. And what I really love about this one is that you can uh, open it up so it folds out and you can access all the interior portions of this castle, which is which is cool. That's reminiscent of the castle that Lego just released not too long ago for their 90th anniversary. This looks like it'll be a really, really cool set. I would love to have this one in the collection, especially coming from a fan designer. I think I think that's extra cool. OK, the next one is Parisian Street, and we actually featured this set. It's one of the thumbnails uh, for the five buildings that you must see. I'll, I'll put links to those in the description as well or in the comments. I thought this set was amazing when I first saw it. I really love the colors. I love this this Paris vibe from what I remember. The, the, the designer, I believe, lives in France, and so they took a lot of inspiration from, from where they live to make a set like this and you can tell that it really it really shines through. So I do love how it has a whole bunch of rooms. This set, it's it's not a modular building, so you can actually access all the rooms from the back side of it. I think that this would be an awesome set to build. I know that that I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I featured it in our videos, so this is another one that I would I would want to order on day one. So kudos to this designer. I think I think this one's gonna do really well. Same thing, I'd be surprised if this one doesn't make it through. Buildings do really well with Lego in general. I know that they're really addicting. We can't get enough of the modular buildings. Even though this one is not modular, I do think that this one will sell pretty well. It's gonna really draw people to it, so very cool. Okay, the next one is the Old Train Engine Shed. This one is another set that is one of our thumbnails. This one, I believe, was the top five sets for adults that are one of a kind. I've never really seen a train engine shed Lego said, I didn't even know train engine sheds were really a thing, <laughs> but uh, I love the colors that the designer used for this, that that blend of different shades of brown goes really well with these green colors and the foliage. And I love just like this, this time period that they chose for a set like this. One of the standout features that, that I remember from our video is that there's a lot of interactivity with the set. There is a lathe that moves uh, forwards and backwards, which is really neat. There's a crane that goes from one side of the building to the other, just really well thought out. I feel like the, the designer did a lot of research. This Mind the Brick designer, I've featured them in some of our LEGO Ideas videos as well. They're, they're just really incredible with, with their designs. They're very well thought out. I'm surprised and I'm not surprised that this set is going through with the program. I'm not surprised because the designer's done an amazing job but I am surprised just because I, I didn't know that a, that this train shed would, uh, or this train engine shed would appeal to a lot of different fans out there. So I'm glad that it did. Uh, yet another set that I'm gonna wanna pick up on day one, obviously. I think this would make a really cool display piece to put on your shelf. Um, you'll, you'll probably see it on my shelf if I'm able to get my hands on it later or earlier next year. This train engine shed, pretty awesome. I'm excited to see this one go through and let's see if this makes it to that pre-order threshold. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. 
Okay, this next set, I, I did not cover in any of my videos. This one is pretty new to me. I remember glancing at this one, I think just because it's a lot smaller, I didn't do a feature on it, uh, which doesn't mean that I won't cover small sets going forward. Uh, this one, just kind of, I just kind of breezed past it. Looking closer at this set, it's, it's actually pretty neat. So this is, uh, from, from what I can tell, let me take a look at the description here. Yeah, it's inspired by by a food truck, which is really cool. I, I thought that it might have been. This this does look like a food truck, just more of the stationary kind that doesn't really drive anywhere. What I'm noticing about this set is that even though even though it's small, it has a lot of character to it. First of all, the outside of this set is completely smooth. I don't see any Lego studs anywhere on the outside, which is always that's to to me that's like a, a much more difficult technique to accomplish. This designer did an amazing job of that, giving it the smooth appearance. From looking out on the inside, it looks like they have everything that you would imagine inside of a food truck. Yeah, it looks like you have some areas to cook the food. There's like an ordering area as well. I, oh, and I love that you can you can flip open the back of this food truck or this, this snack shack to access everything on, on the inside. It looks like that's that's, once again, very well thought out. And here we have a closer look at some of the different contraptions inside to, to make this food. I see a, a blender, a sink, you have some fryers. Uh, it looks like there's one of those, uh, it looks like a panini machine. It probably isn't one of those, but it looks like, you know, kind of like a foldable grill sort of things. There's not a lot of pieces in this picture, but just look at how much you can pull from it. So that's, that's always an amazing thing that these designers can accomplish. Overall, really cool set. Um, since it's small, I would probably pick this one up too. I, I can't imagine this one would be very expensive. I think just due to its small, compact size, it'll probably be more affordable as well. This one, this one should probably sell pretty good. So let's let's keep our fingers crossed because I, I know this is a really big deal for these designers. And uh, kudos to this designer for making the snack shack. Okay, next up we have the General Store Wild West. And I do recognize the design style for this one. I believe it was, it was also in our unique set, the same one as that train engine shed. There was a uh, sheriff's office, and I believe it was from the same designer. I do remember seeing that they had that sheriff's office and general store, both from the Wild West. This is really cool. So this is a general store. It looks like it's from the 1800s. And I love the designer's technique. If you look at the tiling that's on the sides of the building, I mean, that's... I'm kind of wondering actually how that's how that's constructed. I mean, there's obviously some angled bricks in there. But there's a lot of variety and character as well. I like that choice of blue along with the with that brown that contrasts really well. You get a caravan or like this horse and carriage that's included. It wouldn't be the Wild West with one of those. It reminds me of um, uh, the uh, Oregon Trail games from a long time ago. Hopefully, everyone in this journey makes it out okay. But this uh, this looks really cool. And I think there's also, yeah, there's a vulture that's kind of chilling on the top of the roof there. Really, really cool touch. Something you would definitely see in the Wild West. And this set looks really cool from all the different angles here. It looks like there's like a, this back entrance. There's a dead tree next to this cactus. I just, they, they really nailed this, this Western vibe. I, I really love this. Uh, let's take a look at the inside. This is what you would expect inside of a general store. I love when these designers just can capture so much with so little. Um, and of course you have your your cowboy hat and a top hat as well. This general store is really neat. Uh, anyone that loves the Wild West will definitely be into a set like this. So I probably liked that sheriff's office just, just a little bit more, um, but it is cool to see that this designer was able to get through, become a finalist, congratulations. That's, that's really awesome. It's really hard. To, there, there were like 300 sets, I believe, if I were getting through. I don't know if I would pre-order this one myself. I'm not a huge Wild West fan, but if this is something that you would want to see me review somewhere down the road, I would definitely be interested. I guess I guess it depends on how much it costs as well. I, I do like buildings. I do love modular buildings. I think the fact that this is something that that is different could sway me to pick this one up. So not super high on my list, but I'm also not saying that this is a bad set in any way. I think it's really cool. Just out of all five of these, this might be one that I would have to kind of like take a look at the bank account, see if this is something that I could pick up. 
And I just wanted to double check something. So I'm looking at their series two submissions, which just started. So it looks like until June 2nd, from now until June 2nd, they're gonna allow designers to submit some new designs. And once they announce all of those, I'll definitely do some videos that are gonna take a look in depth and it'll give us the opportunity to vote for series two. I love that they're sticking to their word. They're being, they're taking this very seriously. And it looks like we're gonna have new series and new releases like very, very often. Looks like they'll just be like one after the other. Probably every few months we'll, we'll see new new sets. We'll see new pre-orders. Sets that receive 3,000 pre-orders will be produced, up to 20,000 of each set in a one-time production run. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish this X-Wing set, but if you wanna see some more Lego sets for adults, check out one of our videos here. I go into a lot of details about all these sets. I try to bring you the best ones that I can possibly find. So I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you there.